Good morning, y'all. Uh, this is my entry into the United Scale Auto Content Creators Build. As you see, I have my kit here. This is kit number two that I've ordered to be in the build. Uh, kit one, the body appeared to be Sasquatched, and the body was just I thought it was just gonna be the A pillars and the A pillars were fine. I could pull them up. And then it's when I noticed that the body had been uh, squished out and it was just no way to, to save it. So I went back to the old Bay of the E and found this. Uh, was considering waiting on the version that's been to be put back out by Ravel and I really want to get started. I've been trying to keep my momentum up. That's part of the reason I want to be a part of the group here. Um, I feel being involved will keep me building models. The wife said can't buy models if you don't build a model. So, uh, no collecting, must be building. As long as she doesn't find out about the 10 large Walmart boxes full of models, I think we'll be all right. However, to move on. This is the 70 Roadrunner version and uh, really excited to get it. The only thing I saw on eBay that kind of scared me, had me a little concerned, was the damage that you can see right here in the box. Uh, and I've opened it up now and, you know, checked it. You know, this is the 2012 version. As you can see, everything else looks pretty good. And I've just Tickle pink to be able to get a hold of it. Um, stand by one moment. So continuing, we have, this is the actual kit. And I did cut the bag because I wanted to look to make sure that the body was not suffering from the same catastrophe that was there on the other one. and so everything appears to be good everything appears to be there there doesn't appear, any war appear to be any uh, warpage um as you can see all the other parts is here i don't intend at the moment it's not the plan it could change on using the decals here but they do look really good i was very surprised 10 year old decals looking pretty sharp so the plan is going to be um, I work at VIR as security and even though I grew up and lived here my whole life I'd never been there until last June when I got hired and in basic you know got out there and just fell in love with the place it's very beautiful if you're ever in this neck of the woods I really suggest uh, coming on out and giving it a look uh, but they have different events and different people come in from whether it's SCCA, uh, they have the runoffs going on there this weekend, or IMSA, WeatherTech Challenge, they have just left. We've just had some form of a rock festival, the Blue Ridge Rock Festival just was there. Uh, we have Gold Cup, which is including the Trans Am Series coming in in like a week, week and a half. So. A lot of stuff goes on, but one of the things that's always caught my attention is that they have, you know, track days and different people have track day cars and it might be a Mustang, it could be anything. So going with that thought, this old car right here, and again, I'm not sure exactly paint color yet in the full direction. It's going to get some different uh, rims and tires on it. And it's probably going to cause me to do a little bit of uh, stuff that I'm outside of my box as far as doing stuff with the chassis. And hopefully it's going to turn out all right. Uh, in the background, of course, is a different bill for a different place. But uh, it's sitting there thinking about what it's going to do. And uh, other than that, uh, again, the plan is going to be make a track racer out of it where it's basically going to be go out there track day, have fun. Uh, like most of those guys do, they go out there, they ride around, and uh, they put a few hop-up suspension parts on it, you know, to help it run better. So 
the really the intentions include you know kind of lowering the stance for more of a track idea and it's definitely going to include uh maybe some I'm just not sure on my rims and tires yet. I have an idea and I'm not really sure if it's going to work, but uh, I'm excited about it. This is a, it really looks neat. Uh, I've heard lots of people mention something about all this right in here is incorrect here in the hood area here, the under hood. Uh, and I'm not sure. Uh, I don't pretend to be anywhere near mechanical. Matter of fact, I'm probably extremely suspect in such stuff, but I enjoy building models. Uh, this will be somewhere in either number three or number four completed for the 2022 building. So uh, looking forward to this. Guys, I appreciate your time uh, for looking. If you'd like to subscribe, uh, please do. Uh, we're getting, getting a few people on. And uh, again, thank you. And thank you to the uh, United Scale Auto content creators for putting on this build.